should tell you what the schedule is. Alright guys, welcome back to Next Gen Games here in Los Angeles. Thank you for joining us for the finals with Sean Tang versus Alex Faust. I am Regina and joined by my co-caster. Josh. Cool. Oh so, Alex's team, which we just saw last round, is Torco, Lilligan, Fermosa, Tapu Lele, Gudra, and Gyarados. And for Sean, we've got Tapu Fini, Zerkatri, Mudsdale, Arcanine, Muck, and Porygon 2. So, ooh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> this is gonna be, I, I don't even know what to think about this matchup right now. There's like a lot of things that it could go. Um, that Lilligan, um, kind of like we've seen it use that Boom Doom, so kind of threatening like Sean's uh, Finny and his Mudsdale. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm. Alex locked in really quickly. I'm kind of guessing he just went for Torkoal Lilligant, but uh... I mean, if I was Alex, like riding that kind of like last round, like just kind of steamrolling those two round, those two matches, like I would kind of try to keep that momentum going. Like you know, don't yeah. think about it. Yeah, he might have actually picked you know Faramosa because again, like Porygon Two is integral to Sean's team. Um, He's going to want to take it out if he can. Oh, well, like, so last round we had Alex against somebody with a Porygon 2 as well, and we didn't see a Trick Room from that other side, but like you said, Sean's uh, matches that we've seen, Trick Room is super essential to him getting, like, really good attacks, getting all those um, those KOs on the other side. So, I don't know, it'll it'll be fun to see. Um, I We probably will be seeing that Torkoal a little again, and we might we'll probably see that Porygon on the other side. So it's just a matter of what type of moves are we going to see right now and what the best choice is for each person depending on what Pokemon they have in the back. Yeah, and here we go. We have... Well, we don't see the Pokemon quite yet. We've got Arcanine and Porygon 2 from Sean. And that Torkoal Lilligant? Yeah? There yep, Torkoal and Lilligant. Which is a really safe lead, I think, to go with, especially with the way that Alex's team is built. Yeah, and Sean, you know, he's got a pretty good setup here, too, because he's got the Porygon 2 ready and he can switch in Tapu Fini if he needs to, although... He doesn't really want to switch into a um, Leaf Storm from Lilligant. But, so we did see, though, like last round, Alex's Lilligant is really weak to fire types and that fl one Flare Blitz from Sean's side. In the sun. Yeah, in the sun <laughs> will definitely take out that Lilligant. So it's kind of like a pro-con thing for Alex. He gets the Drought and he gets that like nice boost yeah. for Eruption and gets the Chlorophyll, but then Sean gets that boost for his fl uh, Flare Blitz. Yeah, this is kind of awkward. Oh, okay. We might <laughs> see that top of Finny. Yeah, it's okay. So yeah, yeah, he did. You know, this is good because he doesn't switch out Arcanine, and he also doesn't Prevents get rest. sleep powdered oh, sorry, or yeah. anything. So oh, Lilligant protects. Not liking that uh, Arcanine on there. So hopefully, maybe that Torkoal uses um, uh, Solar Beam onto that Tapu Fini slot. That would be a great prediction. But, but we now see... we just go straight for the eruption. Which isn't a bad move to go like with with. Like, yeah, like as it, oh. wow. <laughs> he, it nearly did fifty percent to Arcanine. Tapu Fini's lost. You know, like a, a good uh, two thirds of his health. And that Lilligant's still on the field. Yeah, so now Sean has to worry about a Bloom Doom that could knock out either of his Pokemon. So, um, interesting choice for Sean switching out that Porygon, because that Porygon could have taken that Eruption, I think, and still be able to get the Trick Room up. Yeah, probably. Um, we're going to see, oh, the Tapu Lele. I wonder if we're going to oh, see that Tapu Lele Sleep Powder combo that we've seen um, in that last round. Yeah, because, so. you know, Lele is really important to Alex's team, and we don't really want, or he, he doesn't really want, um, Arcanine taking it down, so he kind of just has Sleep to go powder, for it. Onto and nice, it and it connects hits. to the Arcanine. Very, very nice job on um, on Alex's side. So kind of seeing his same match one from last round, and I think again, really smart idea for him to kind of protect that Torval, because um, like we've seen, that eruption can do a lot of damage, including to the Arcanine, which has resistance against it. Yeah, and, uh, Alex has just really pulled ahead this game because not only can Lilligant in theory bloom doom either of these Pokemon. Tapu Lele is here to knock out the Arcanine easily, probably even knock out the Tapu Fini. And Sean knows this and is switching out Arcanine for Muck. Ooh, nice call on his head. And like I said, I think the reason Alex is like making these choices, he's just coming off from a win, and that plays a lot into your mental... like. In, yeah, into the way and Sean is actually there. switching out Finny for Porygon 2, which gets the attack boost from download instead of special attack. And Alex is going for Bloom Doom. Probably into that Porygon 2 slot, is what I'm guessing. Um, I will say this though. Um, shoot, never mind, I totally forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so I think like Sean does. Oh, here we go. So Sean's switching out both of his Pokemon. Let Alex get in that Tapu Lele for free, which is, I think, is just kind of a scary thing to do because. Yeah, oh, Lele. okay. So Porygon 2 is taking the Bloom Doom for some pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. Um, Lele kind of- Oh, Tapu oh. Lele psychics into the muck! Nice, good, go good job on Sean's side, so- But Sean is still behind because he has to- he has to somehow get Trick Room up if he can. Muck is in a good position, but- Well, yeah, with- with Bloom Doom having already been used, Muck is in a very good position right now. 
Well, then I wonder too, that because he had switched it out for that Arcanine, so the Arcanine probably could have just taken that hit because waiting for that sleep to wear off um, might be a couple of turns wasted for Sean. Like that Muck could have come in for free if that Arcanine hadn't been. The Arcanine was nearly at half health, and I, I think he couldn't really risk Tapu Lily uh, getting a KO on that. So well, that was he, a nice switch. Mm, well, because I mean, he could have gotten that muck in for the free, because we don't know how this long the Arcanine um, would be essentially like, like yeah, Arcanine dead weight. is, yeah, yeah, it is not really doing anything for him right now. Alex switches out Tapu, or <laughs> Tapu Lele, um, to Oracle, take so. the poison jab, presumably. We're oh. on two, switching, switching it out, nice call. Tapu Fini comes back in, but th that could just be oh, walking straight into, storm. yeah, another leaf storm. Here. So, Misty Sir is preventing Liligant from using any sort of sleep powder later. Oh, but it's protecting this turn. So probably oh. not going to want to get a poison jab from that muck. There we go. Into the Liligant. Good call on um, on Alex's side. So he does get that Torkoal back in for free. We do know that it has after you. Yeah, although neither of these Pokemon can threaten it. I mean, if he you know uses Muddy Water and uh, Knock Off, that might knock out Torkoal. <laughs> But it's not too threatened here. Lilligant can switch out for Tapu uh, Lele or something else entirely. Mm. Tapu Fini switches out again for Arcanine. And it's getting that intimidate again. So I think it's just hard because Arcanine is asleep, so it doesn't have a lot of options to do because again, Yeah, it's we really don't just know. taking the Leaf Storm this time, essentially. Oh, I'm not going for the Protect, so we might see that eruption also from that Torkoal. Um, Alex, I think, had really good command of this game in the beginning, but Sean's been playing really defensively and been playing really smartly as well. Yeah, actually, you know, if he actually stalls out Sun, that will help a lot because he can get into a position where, you know, Logan has to switch out and he can hopefully set up Trick Room. But Arcanine has just gone down to the eruption. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, I will say this though. Uh, really good call on Sean's side. That Arcanine was dead weight, so he did protect his Finny really well on there from that Leaf Storm, and now we don't have the Sunlight anymore, and that Torkoal's eruption won't be doing as much. Um, we yeah, know that Muck has Poison Jab. Yeah, and importantly, Tapu, uh, sorry, uh, Lilligant <laughs> is a lot slower now, although both of Sean's Pokemon are pretty slow, so... So, and Trick Room is still kind of a trick, like, Trick Room is a tricky thing to be able to, to want to use here, because that Torkoal will benefit from it as well. Yeah, and, you know, Alex can really just go for Eruption, and maybe even, well, it's at, Lilligant is at minus two now, I believe, so maybe not Leaf Storm. If Porygon 2 can survive to set up Trick Room and not get, say, a knockoff on Torkoal, which it won't, it's switching out for Tapu Lele. Um, so we might see that Sleeping Powder combo again, which I think Alex is really good at using because that Lele terrain, that the terrain switches is, is really smart Yeah, and oh, Sleep Powder is coming out into the Muck, actually, not the Porygon 2. I think that's a good call because we know that Muck has Poison Jab, and Tapu Lele, oh, yeah, yeah. Tapu Lele. actually Tapu Lele and Lele both don't like that move. Um, so the Porygon 2 is free to recover, which... If I was Alex, you know, not that bad because now that Muck is incapacitated. Yeah, not only did he get rid of the big Trick Room threat, the Trick Room didn't actually go up this turn, so he's free to just focus down the Porygon 2 as best he can. And then, like, focus on that Muck later. We still have that Torkoal in the back, which is at full health, and I think we don't know what the last Pokemon is. Um, I can't recall. No. no so for Alex's side, I guess we it. Oh. It's likely Feramosa from what he's said about mm -hmm. how the team works. So, nice, because now that Torkoal has that set up again, and we can get Lil again in there again. Um, so eruption would be really good right now. Yeah, and actually, you know, he's even still benefits even if uh, Trick Room goes up now. Wow. Nice. Okay, so Lele does over fifty percent with that Moonblast. Muck heals back up with the Berry, but it turns are numbered here. Right. Well, so we did we did see though that uh, so we do know from Alex that like his Lele is running a cho is running choice back. So that does uh, amount for that does account for the damage that it did. Right. Um, so I think Alex has been really playing this super well, um, it, and Sean, Sean has too though, like his defenses and his switching out and predicting what Alex has been doing has been really good, but what I like about Alex's strategy is he's very smart about switching in Lele to be able to use sleep, uh, to be able to use sleep powder. Yeah, Sean hasn't really managed to capitalize on anything Alex has done yet, and Tapu Lele's Moonblast is going into Muck again. Just I don't think he's going to pick up the KO this time, no. but Torkoal is free to use Eruption, it is still at full- Ooh! Yeah. Oh, Muck wakes up and goes for the knockoff on Torkoal, so, so reducing the power from Eruption and getting rid of Charcoal, reducing its fire type attacks further, and return actually hitting Torkoal here. So that's going to be a really weak Eruption. But it's a, and that's a good counterattack from Sean um, on this side, but- oh, Just barely misses up. the KO on Muck. Oh. 
And I think that's actually really critical for Sean. So really, really lucky for him that Muck woke up this turn. Oh yeah. And smart of him to double up into that Torkoal. And we do know that Tapu Lele is faster, so it could pick it could pick up a KO with that Moon Blast. But that Porygon two can also um, now we also know that Porygon two is faster than that Torkoal, so yeah. Trick Room won't be the most beneficial thing for him. That's true. Yeah, I was going to say like you know this would be a golden opportunity for Sean to set up Trick Room, but he has to deal with Torkoal first. Another return might do it, but Muck has to leave for now. So Tapu Fini coming out, probably gonna take a Moon Blast from. Um, from Lele, which is going to be a little bit bad because that Misty Surge is back up, so it's going to add some more damage into Tapu Lele. So going into, there we go, the Finny spot. Um, and picking up oh, the KO. Oh, almost oh, the KO, but... It gets the special attack drop, though, so that's not good news for Sean either. And Prox's Berry. Um, so that Torkoal, not as not as useful as it could have been from before. Um, I, I think it's just smart call on Sean's side to like whittle it down because now this thing's eruption isn't as good. Yeah, but it does have Heat Wave to fall back on and Porygon 2 is taking some damage here. And um, I, I think really lucky for Sean to switch out that Muck in there. I don't know what he's going to do with it later on. Um, but now he has that Pokemon in the back still. Yeah, the, the ideal here would be to successfully set up Trick Room and finally, finally start disabling Alex's threats. Like because, Torkoal especially. So yeah. we could see a Muddy Water right now from that Finny. That um, might knock out Torkoal, but Tapu Fini is going to have to go through Lele first. Right, and that Lele does a lot of damage with that Moonblast, so I think if that Lele goes into Finny right now with Moonblast, we are going to see that knockout coming in um, on Alex's side. So Alex, really smart, still has all four of his Pokemon. Nothing really threatened right now. So Sean's um, protecting Tapu Fini and probably going for a return with Porygon 2. Moonblast is targeting down oh, uh, Porygon 2, actually. So that was a good read from Alex, and Solibium comes out from Torkoal, probably into oh, it's, is it? Oh. Finny's Protect, yeah. But still, good choice on Alex's side to go after both of them. So we do see the Trick Room this turn. Yeah, so Trick Room's finally up. That's kind of, you know... Interesting choice, I think. Yeah, because Finny's still not safe, because the Solar Beam should take it out pretty easily. But on the bright side, at least Tapu Lele moves last now. Well, and then that muck in the back, even though it has like that sliver of red HP, could yeah. possibly get out of move. So if one of these Pokemon uh, get knocked out this turn, which I think we will see, that muck has free reign to move next turn, gets in that free switch in, um, possibly able to. Oh, he's actually switching it out. All right. For muck, interestingly. So I guess he figures, you know, Sun is almost down now. Um, oh, there's Torkoal protecting. You know, if he can just get rid of Torkoal somehow. Oh, Porygon 2 and Recover. Honestly, that is actually one of the most frustrating moves that I like see because you work so hard to get that HP down and then this happens. Um, but Alex going into the Tapu Fini spot, so probably seeing that, that switch in. I, I think personally it was um, an odd choice on Sean's side to switch in that muck this turn. Well, yeah, actually you're right. I don't know if his Tapu Fini, I guess, I guess it couldn't protect anymore and he figured it was more valuable than, um, than muck. Well, his Finny was fa like in Trick Room is faster than that Lele, and the fact that we saw so Torkoal's eruption wouldn't have done as much damage, and we saw the heat wave. Oh, happen. okay. So importantly, the sunlight is gone now. That's what was going on because they can't use uh, Solar Beam instantly anymore. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. So if you can just finally get some damage off. Oh, I thought that Ice Beam was gonna go oh, into. Oh, oh no! no. Nice. Muddy Water strikes again, missing Tapu Lele entirely. Wow, so really, really lucky um, for Alex's side to not um, to not get hit by that. Yeah, that's uh, just icing on the cake, really. <laughs> yeah, this is like this is kind of an exciting matchup, I think, right now. Um, so it is Tapu Fini and Porygon two against the entirety of Alex's team, but Sean also plays really smartly and really defensively. So there is a possibility that he can get a couple um, of KOs on here. But Lilligant does have Leaf Storm, and yeah, so he kind of has to take out Lilligant this turn. And it looks like he's trying to do that with Porygon 2's Ice Beam. Is it enough for a knockout? And yep. there we go! So, you know, Leaf Storm not going to be a threat anymore to Sean, and that Moonblast going into um, Tapu Lele, I think it might be enough to pick up a knockout It right should be. There. So, oh, oh, no! It does so get the special attack drop, but... That's rough. So, it will just be Porygon versus the rest of Alex's team. Uh, I think we still have that Torkoal up there. And one more yeah. Pokemon left still for Alex's team. Yeah, Torkoal, Lele, and the mysterious Pokemon in the back against the Porygon Against the Sloan Porygon. Um, Alex played a really good game. 
Alex, yes. like, I honestly think he rode that kind of, like, wave of victory from last <laughs> round into this, and he made really good choices, really good calls. Um, Sean, I, I think the hardest part for him is that what we saw from his round earlier is that his entire team is based around trick room. Yeah, that's definitely been a bit of an issue for him because no. the only, benefits. yeah, like, really the only way he can stop Tapu Lele is with, or, sorry, uh, Lilligant is with trick room, but then the Torkoal takes advantage of that, and he doesn't have- well, he actually does have Mudsdale, so I'm not sure why we haven't seen it yet. Maybe that'll be an adjustment for game two. And well, this is like a chance for Shantar to kind of get a feel for Alex's team to see Alex's strategies. Um, Alex has shown consistently that he's okay switching in Tapu Lele for uh, Lilligant to be able to use Sleep Powder. And that is like something to consider. And um, now we see the Feramosa coming in ready to deal that last bit of damage to Porygon too. So I think really lucky for Sean though, because even though like this match will go to Alex, at least he gets information on, uh, on Alex's team. And that's really important, like any sort of information that you get. Like any bit of information that you can bring into game two is super important. So knowing that he has a fair mouse in the back, knowing that he's uh, he's used that Lele and that um, the sleep powder combo. So, and I think Sean might cons might have to consider what can he do to let himself use trick room more. Yeah. But without giving like Alex an advantage. So game one going to Alex. Yeah, I think like he really does, I think, want to bring Mudsdale, but if that that leaves him with less things he can switch in against uh, Lilligant. Right. So. I think just like the hard thing about Sean as Sean's team is that you know you want to get rid of that Torkoal because in drought you having that charcoal and being able to use eruption it deals a lot of damage regardless of the typing we saw it almost take down the Arcanine to half health and so I think trying to figure out a way to combat Torkoal without having to proc Trick Room is really difficult because the rest of Alex's team is pretty fast in comparison to Sean's team. Yeah, I mean, and it just. <laughs> You know, the thing with Lilligant is that the two Pokemon that can stop it from using Sleep Powder are both instantly knocked out by it. Uh, you know, if you have a Tapu Koko, that's getting Leaf Stormed. If you have Tapu Fini, either Leaf Storm will take it out, or if it's bulky enough, it'll still get taken out by Bloom Doom. Yeah, and like, yeah, like that Tapu Fini is so threatened by that Lilligant, even though it has the potential to take out that Torkoal. And I think Sean's gonna have to figure out a way to take out that Torkoal without cracking Trick Room and giving Alex a little bit more edge to his Torkoal. Yeah, being able to just really pursue and knock out the Torkoal would help him a lot here, but. You know, there's always something to switch in for it, it seems. I will say this, as someone who very much loves Generation 3, I think it's great that a Gen 3 Pokemon is kind of like the crux of this team right now. Yeah, um, Torkoal and Pelipper definitely, well, benefited a lot from their newly introduced weather abilities. Mm -hmm. I mean, neither would have been used at all before Generation 7. Well, and I think what's super interesting right now, too, though, is that on Alex's team, leading with Torkoal and Lilligan is one of the best calls he can do. And even but even knowing that, it's still hard to combat because Sean's team doesn't seem like it's really fit to match up against that type of team. Yeah, Torkoal and Lilligan is the kind of thing you just you forget about until you see it, and then you realize that you can't fight it very well. Um, so we get to see Ch Sean try really hard in the second match. Yeah, it's, it's good that he led with Muck, I think, but he has to go for a hard read here on whether or not Lilligant will go for Sleep Powder. Because if it goes for Sleep Powder, switching in uh, Finny would be great. Uh, well, but Lilligant could protect too, which is what it oh, did last Oh, here's the Mudsdale finally. We um, finally get to see the Mudsdale. I think this is the first time he's brought Mudsdale. Like. Yeah, this is interesting. So Lil Lilligant is actually protecting. Torkoal's using Eruption. So I think Sean just managed to make the call that Whoa, that is a lot of damage into that Mudsdale. Actually. That's Torkoal for you. Dang. Uh, so, yeah, this is... Oh, man. This, you know, he, he kind of did everything right this turn. Like, he predicted that Lilligant wouldn't sleep powder. He switched to Mudsdale. But now, Mudsdale won't really have enough HP to take on the Torkoal unless... Mudsdale is slower, which I don't think it is. Well, there is a possibility that we could see that Mudsdale and Porygon go into, like, double up into the Torkoal. Because like we said before, that Torkoal is the scariest threat on Alex's team. Everything else on, this sure. on Alex's team is fast. But you take out that Torkoal, you take out a lot of damage that Alex can do. Now, the other thing that Sean could do here is either, you know, try to Ice Beam that Lilligant, or maybe go for a Recover and protect Mudsdale in the meantime. 
so that Torkoal isn't as well defended next turn. That doesn't make as much sense as it did when I thought of it. <laughs> well, I will say this. So Sean does have that Muxil in the back, um, and that Mug in Trick Room is a big threat to that uh, little gap on there. Yeah, it's the, you know, next to Mudsdale, probably the second best thing to take on Torkoal. So that Paragon 2, I think, is going to hold on um, from the second Just eruption. Barely. Getting Ice Beam onto that Lilligant, possibly picking up that KO on there, which is oh, oh, so close. Just barely. Did it get a special attack boost? I'm not sure. No. Really got... uh, I, I can't remember from that one. But the Sleep Powder does connect, which really, <laughs> which is really important for Alex. Um, Sorry, we have people in the now. background whispering. Uh, but Sean protecting his Mudsdale, really good call on here. That Torkoal is still at full health. and like Yeah, this just isn't going well for Sean. He's, he's you know, doing... The right, he's making the right decisions given the circumstances. But Torkoal Lilligan is just a really hard lead to like to uh, to counter with. Yeah, because like with Sean's team, all the common Pokemon that can counter half of it will get countered by the other half. So what I what I'm wondering if we're gonna see because that Torkoal can pick up the KO right now with an eruption, a double KO. Um, it's just unfortunate because that Lilligan was so close to being knocked out, and it would have been really good for like that Muck to come back in or for Tapu Fini to come in and like kind of take down Dan on that Torkoal. Um, I'm surprised that Sean didn't go after that Torkoal. Well, yeah, that is sort of odd. Um, he wouldn't. I don't know. I mean, I think leaving Muck in. Could have gone really badly for him, but obviously switching in Mudsdale didn't work that great either. Right. So we will see the KO on that Porygon too, so we won't see any sort of trick rooms later on. So, yeah, on the bright side though, he can bring in Muck or uh, maybe M Mudsdale again. Nice call on Sean's side, oh. switching that Finny for the Misty Terrain. Um, and like you said earlier, Sean did make the right choices. I think it's just really hard because that Torkoal is in such a good position to benefit from Trick Room and yeah. to benefit from Lilligan's like after you and because of that chlorophyll and that drought. So Alex was just in a really good like just in a really good position to kind of counter whatever decision Sean is making right now. Which yeah, as we Sean. saw last game, you know, Sean made good dis defensive switches, but Alex never really lost the turn. You, there was never a dead turn for him, he was always getting stuff done. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of seeing that again, because Sean's Pokemon are ironically not slow enough to get into a good position to take down Torkoal. And I think that's just what makes this a very difficult team to counteract, because even if you don't have Trick Room up, you have that Lilligant, which we saw um, last round. It has after you, so it could still have, like, it, like that Torkoal is in a position to attack heavily regardless of what's going on. Right. So, we've seen Tapu Fini and Lilligant both protect. Um, Mux Berry has been used. We haven't seen this move yet, I think, from Lilligant this, this round, right? That's true. Lilligant still has his Z move available. Sean reads the protect and goes for the knockoff on Torkoal, <laughs> mitigating its damage output just a little bit. So it gets rid of that Torkoal and does like knock down its HP. Yeah, so this is this is good because now Sean can go after the Lilligant or whatever switches in for it. Because actually, you know, if if Al if Alex has yet again brought the same four, um, neither Tapu Lele nor Fermosa want to switch in to Lilligant's spot and take that poison jab. And I think, well, the hard part is, like, Trick Room is going gonna, is gonna to expire in a few turns, and we don't have that Porygon 2 to set it up again. Right. Which I think was the crux for Sean. He was really good about protecting his Porygon 2 in previous uh, games, and just now it's just really hard for him to do. So that Eruption is going to do some considerable damage still, um, but not enough to really, like, get anything into the red. So the Potion Jab going into that Lilligan, picking up that KO, but, like... I don't know if it's gonna make much of a difference right now for Alex's side. Like, yeah, if the uh, single target Muddy Water here can do enough damage to get rid of the Torkoal, that would be really good for him. Oh, nice! Yes. So Sean gets the double. Oh, it's oh, a critical, critical hit. hit. Could, critical hit, single target Muddy Water. Nice. Nice. All right. So and the Sonnet is gone. So Sean, I think now in a really good position to like start Except a counter attack. Trick Room just went down. Oh. So never he's mind. got a fair Fermosa and Tapu Lele to contend with. And oh man, and those two are both really fast Pokemon. But again, like you said, like that muck does threaten them with poison jab. Um, the question is, can that muck hold on long? Yeah, enough honestly, to go what I'm seeing here is, you know, Pheromosa goes for the poison jab against Tepifuni, knocks it out. Muck 
it can't take that choice specs boosted uh, moon blast from Tapu Lele. And that Tapu Fini is fast. Uh, sorry, that Tapu Lele is fast too. So like obviously Alex's side is gonna be able to go first, and all Sean has in the back is that Mudsdale, which is at I think like a yeah, the Mudsdale health. is just not even a factor here. So I think Alex really good job that Torkoal and that Lilligant like really dominating um, his matches and being able to just kind of control the pace of the battle. It's just it's one of those things where you see the lead but you have nothing to do about it. Yeah, all right, so Mudsdale switches in to replace Tapu Fini. Um, Muck protects. Mudsdale oh, yeah. actually takes the poison jab pretty Very well. Nice. Oh, but it gets the poison! Oh, oh this is just... Rough. Wow, this is top four all over like, again. Oh man, that's just rough for Sean, I think, because... Uh, because, like, that Munzdale could have done some work. Um, okay, well, like, thankfully, we do have the Ogwaf Berry giving it a little more breathing room. Right, and Muck protecting us that, uh, that Moonblast from Lele. So, I I think that switch in was an interesting call. Sean di uh, was able to get, like, that Munzdale in relatively okay. Yeah. If it wasn't that poison, it would have been a much better turn, I think, for Yeah, Han. but really, again, this is just <laughs> situations where Sean does the right thing thing out of all of the options he has, but it just isn't enough, really. And I think like, that's even, just hard. Even if Mudsdale hadn't gotten poisoned, I'm not sure he could take another Moonblast. Obviously, Ice Beam is now coming in from the Feromosa. Doesn't quite KO. But, I mean, like, this this Mudsdale is gonna say bye to us, I think, this turn. Yeah, but this is, no, this is actually pretty big. Muck is probably going down to Moonblast now. Okay, if, okay, so if Mudsdale can get a Heavy Slam on Tapu Lele, that's something. Oh. Like, it should... KO. Oh, it goes for the Feromosa, oh. taking it down to Sash. Oh, yeah, that was like, it has a Sash, though, so... Yeah, honestly, I guess... See. Interesting choice, I think, because I think you're right. If it had gone into that, um... Oh, wow. Just barely like, survives yeah. from Poison. I think, I think... If you were right, if it had gone to that Tapu Lele, yeah. it might have been in, like, a sort of different game. Yeah, I mean, that, that would have been... I think he still... It was correct to go after the Feromosa, I think, because if he had, had Heavy Slam Lele and knocked it out, uh, Paramosa could have just protected the following turn. Oh. Mudsdale would go down, then Tapu Fini is just alone. I mean, that Lele is still at full health, though, and it has that Moonblast, and that Moonblast can, um, and that Moonblast will go first, and... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just gonna be Poison Jab Moonblast again, and this time, it's There's gonna be game. Can do. Wow, so, that was, that was tough. I, I just, I feel like, you know, Sean played really well. This is the hard part was Sean didn't have anything to really counter that Lilligant and that Torkoal. He tried really hard and he did a good lead in that um, in that first turn, like for this match. It just that Torkoal has a lot of bases covered for it. Yeah, so. Lilligant and Torkoal combined, especially with Feramosa and you know others that Alex had brought, really just it's kind of everyone's bad matchup and Alex is really playing it well and showing off its full power so well, and Alex made really good choice I think my favorite strategy that he used was doing that Lele switch in for his Ligand to get that sleep powder off like that's really smart because he protects his Torkoal that way yeah. you know that was really good um, so thank you guys for joining us for these finals and we will see you next time once again I'm Regina and I'm Josh thanks have a good night guys